in yet another twist in Ambani bomb's case, the former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambar Singh has written to Chief Minister Udav Thakre alleging that the Home Minister Anil Deshmukh committed extortion. In his letter to the Maharashtra Chief Minister, Parambar Singh claimed that Home Minister Anil Deshmukh asked Sachin Ways to collect 100 crore every month from bars, restaurants and other establishments. He also claimed that Anil Deshmukh called Sachin Ways to his official residence several times over the past few months and repeatedly instructed him to assist in collection of funds for him. The BJP has called for resignation from Maharashtra State Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. The opposition Congress-led United Democratic Front Alliance released its manifesto for the upcoming Kerala Assembly polls today. Soon after releasing the manifesto, Congress leader and member of parliament from Thiruvananthapuram constituency, Sashi Tharoor pitched for the Happiness Ministry in the election manifesto. He said the manifesto is integrated manifesto and Congress party is open to business. The party has promised 2,000 rupees monthly pension to homemakers, 5 lakh homes to the poor, among others. Ahead of Assam Assembly polls, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi once again slammed the central government over cooking gas cylinder price hike, drawing parallels between the cost of gas cylinder during UPA government. He pointed out that while industrialist loans are being waived off, the poor are left to suffer under the Modi regime. He also targeted the centre over agri laws. He assured the people of Assam that Congress will protect them and will not step back. The Kisan Mazdoor Sangarsh Committee began the tractor rally from, from Tandaran district to Delhi today in support of farmers' protest against recently passed agri laws. Approximately 1,000 trucks and vehicles are taking part in the rally in different parades. The demonstrators informed that they are going for 20 days and people who have been staying there will be sent back to their homes. They also slammed the government for trying to stop the farmers from protesting and trying to scare them in the name of pandemic. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took a jab at Congress party as he warned the people of Assam to be cautious of Congress as the party wants to loot the state. He reminded the people that Congress would put anyone at stake for their benefit. Reminding the public that he once was a tea seller, Prime Minister asked the tea garden workers who other than Chaiwala understands your pain. He also assured that the NDA government, if re-elected, will accelerate the efforts to improve the quality of life for the tea garden workers.